Press E to search, just here. So I think we're searching. We've got to fill this like meter thing up. I wonder what we'll be able to find in the drawers. You found the car keys, what a good start. Whoa. Ah! What? So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Courage's Curse. Now this is a game made by probably one of my favorite developers over the past few months, Dave Microwaves Games. Now if you guys remember 3 a.m. at the Krusty Krab, this is the same developer responsible for that one. And if you remember at the end of that episode, I actually requested a Courage the Cowardly Dog game. Now I'm not trying to say that maybe I caused this to happen, but... I may have had some impact. To be honest, it's probably just amazing coincidence because I think everyone knows what Courage the Cowardly Dog is and like seeing a horror game of this is just like childhood all over again. Courage the Cowardly Dog was literally my childhood in a nutshell, guys. I used to watch that show all the time and I think this episode here is based on the King Ramses episode. I think Courage finds like a slab, a cursed slab or something. He summons this guy and well, hell ensues. You can see Muriel as well in the back there already clearly infected. Now, I'm wondering how we're going to see Eustace and please tell me the computer is in this one as well. And if we see Eustace, I wonder if he's still doing this. <laughs> you know, with the mask thing and when he like puts the mask on and scares courage and yeah, yeah, that thing. Just before we get into this episode, guys, I'm gonna have to say something which I never thought I would. If you guys are not getting notified about my content, YouTube literally confirmed that if you subscribe to someone, that's not enough anymore. Aye. There's like a little bell icon you have to tap, and this goes for all of your favorite creators. Make sure you hit that bell if you want to see like their videos, not necessarily just mine. Kind of ridiculous that this is how YouTube is, like when you subscribe to someone that isn't enough. Like, what the heck? I wonder if in due time that bell will have a bell. Anyway, though, guys, Courage is Curse. Let's get straight into this. This game and its story is a twist on the episode. King, I called it. I got it. Once Eustace obtained the slab, he decided to bury it in the basement to prevent anyone from stealing it. But King Ramses was not happy about this. He is now out for blood and will do whatever it takes to get back his slab. Even if it means possessing Muriel to find the slab and kill anyone who gets in Muriel or his way. Was the plot lines really this barbaric? <laughs> Honestly, I don't doubt it because Courage the Cowardly Dog was kind of like one of those things. Okay, we're waking up because we sleep on the edge of the bed, right? Let me just see. Yes, we do. Retrieve King Ramses' slab in the basement and return it to him. So who the freak is that? Is that Eustace? Oh my god. <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. I can't believe we're in the house, man. This feels so cool to- Wait. That... I'm, I'm standing still, guys. Wait, who, who the freak is walking right now? Oh my god, the same- so, okay, this is about to be the coolest experience ever, man. Thank you for making this, like, seriously. Press E to search, just here? So, I think we're searching. We've got to fill this, like, meter thing up. I wonder what we'll be able to find in the drawers. You found the car keys. What a good start. I don't know if these have anything significant, because, like, that's a full street, and I know we live on our own. Whoa. Ah! What the freak? I see how it is. All right, guys. So, retrieve the King Ramses yet. Yeah, we already know that. We better get moving, then. Yeah, we heard that retrieve the slab thing. <laughs> Muriel is scary as heck, right? <laughs> Found nothing. Well, god dang. Come on, khakis. Wait, wait, one. How scared should I be? Like, Muriel is pretty damn aggressive. I would rather not have that encounter again. If she can stay out there and I can stay in here, yeah, that's a good way. Let me look this way and search. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I hear you wanted me to return that slab. Let me find some car keys first, then we can get to it. And I found nothing. God damn. So it is randomized. I'm guessing I got really lucky right there. Where can I hide in this game? Because, like, if I'm being chased down by Muriel, I don't stand a chance, you know? That was pretty much insta-death. <clears throat> uh, you didn't hear nothing? Is that this door? Oh my god, dude. Look at this. Oh! Oh my goodness me. Thank goodness her eyesight is poor as freak. I'm gonna capitalize right on that. So, let me see. She's gone in there. Now's my chance to move. We got posters of, I think, Dave Microwave's other games around the place. Oh my gosh. Seeing this place, like, in a fully 3D aspect is pretty cool. Wait. Oh my god! What the freak? Um... Off, 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 off. What the heck? This is crazy. It's locked. I need to find the key to remove the lock, the code for the padlock, and a shovel to dig up the slab. There's a few objectives around the house we got to uh, locate and, I guess, operate on. We've got a lot of drawers in here to search. This is going to take a while. Come on, turn up something and uh, turn up nothing. Come on, what about this one here? Nearly there. Nothing again. Muriel is still upstairs, I think, so we're safe. Nothing? Is there nothing in the kitchen whatsoever? Oh, that's not good. Nothing in the food bowl? No! Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa! We gotta get away from her. What is with this music? It sounds like Mortal Kombat or something, you know? Keep it moving. Keep it moving. And we're good. So the thing outside, we can't escape. The return the slab. Yeah, that guy, he will literally snap at you straight away. So let's check out the bathroom. Let me search this quickly. I think, no, wait, she's upstairs. What up? If I wait here? I don't know. I, th I feel like this is probably like a good enough- Oh, I don't know! There's a lot of noise, guys. Let me just search this quickly. So the car keys is a must. There you go, talking of which. She's right close by. Put a flashlight off. I don't 
she sounds like she's maybe in that direction, so let's try and search this as well. Come on, we better be quick about this, and... So, let's get back at it. Nope, let's not. Okay, turn that off. That dude is so aggro just outside as well. Don't come in. Don't come in. Please, do not come in. She's trying another door. Okay, she's opened some door. Uh, maybe I should go now? Let me just see. Oh my god, whoa! Okay, look, I gotta move. Oh my god, keep going, keep it going. <laughs> Back downstairs we go. Now, I don't know what the television does, if it's like a distraction. Okay, we did it. We got away. So let's try and figure out some kind of like What the freak? I'm stuck! Oh my god! <laughs> this is terrifying. Back upstairs. Back upstairs. Let's try this room here. Okay. Oh, the attic. No way. Oh, I gotta check this out. Please have the computer up here. Please have the computer up here. Let me just see. Wait, where is it? Maybe it's the other side? Yes, the computer is here. No way. Oh, I want to see if we can talk to it. Yes, we can. You have the code for the padlock attached to the basement door? No, we don't. That's what we don't have. Will he give us? Uh, I, I do, actually. One moment, please. Whoa, okay. It's doing it. It is doing it. Well, I hope so. That don't sound so good. Like, Courage, we probably need to take this to, like, a computer guy. And that's the code right there. So that's step one of about three down. We need a shovel. Uh, what else do we need? Did the computer have a name for the series? If so, I feel so bad for forgetting, man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She's right here. She's right here. Let me just check. She's very, very close, I think. Was she? She's going the... Hold up. She's, like, right... Where is she? Okay, let me check this room here. So, uh, we've got another drawer to search. Let's go ahead and do this nice and quickly. She's kind of close. When you hear her footsteps, you know she's within. I found a brick. All right, now I can start the car outside to ram the barn doors open. What? Uh, so, wait, wait, wait. We don't have to go in the basement? I'm a little confused right now on what we're doing exactly. I think she's literally in this room, man. She's trying so many doors. I don't... Oh, my God, her shadow. This is clutch as heck. Okay, let me search this one. I know she's just left. So Mural has no reason to come back in here unless she's insane, which uh, I guess she kind of is. So I've got a brick. I've got the code for the padlock and I've got the car keys. There's quite a few things. It's just now going outside. So I'm coming back downstairs. There's a drawer here I haven't searched though. Let me just try. Is she? Oh shoot. Light off. Light off. Okay, let her pass. Let her pass. Look at that with a freaking rolling pin in her hand. So we can use the uh, padlock. There goes that. And the door is still locked. I need to find the key, and then we need a shovel. Okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to start by searching this drawer here. I think Muriel just went upstairs and used this. It's still asleep despite all this happening. We found nothing. That's fine. At least we know. So, oh, I see that dude roaming outside as well. You see? How are we going to do this? I need to go outside. But if I go outside once, that dude is going to snap me up. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I've locked myself out. Oh, come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> How am I going to do that? Maybe if we watch him move from a distance, you see? We need to find the car, so maybe the front of the house is better. Mural is upstairs doing something. I don't care what. So where is the car? Huh? Where is the car? I don't feel confident being out here. What? What the freak was that? Okay, there's the car, but the dude is there! Oh, God, come on! Back inside we go! Woo! Okay, and we are good, kinda. I mean, Muriel's in here, too. So, I mean, we're kinda half good. Not really, though. Help me. Oh, my God, no way! Okay, she's coming around this way. I gotta go back upstairs. This is very, very difficult right now. I wonder if we could lock her out the house? Though, she knows how to use doors, so probably not. This is really tricky, though. No, I can't go back in here. I can't wait use this up, even with the flashlight. I'm trying to think, how am I gonna do this? I don't know if once we get into the car and we close the door, maybe we're safe when we're inside there. There's so much we gotta do. We haven't been to the barn yet. I presume that's where the shovel's gonna be. There's always a way, guys. There's always a way. We just gotta play it real carefully and we can do this. She's downstairs, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, she was downstairs, guys. I gotta start this whole thing again. I was playing for about 20 minutes right there, taking my time. So we know, though, that the computer is a guaranteed padlock code. Okay, I got the car keys. It's a good start. So where's Muriel, you know? Where is she? I think she's, like, over there somewhere behind me. I'm up in the attic now, guys. I don't think she's here. Let me close that. Let's go ahead and get this uh, padlock code, then. I gotta be careful. You hear all this noise at the same time in the background? Like... Okay, he's gonna print that off. I'm gonna wait from a distance so I can see the door, but I'm also kind of hidden from Muriel, you know? I don't know if that sound as well draws her. That's the problem. There's so many little factors that we've got to be real careful of. Okay, let me go ahead and get this. There you go. So, from without this window, we can kind of see there's the barn. There's like some kind of cornfield or maze. Oh my god, she's right there. Okay, let me try and lure around here. Now, this is gonna be our excuse then, guys, to get downstairs and try and get outside in time. I think we're good. There you go. Woo! So I might try now. Well, firstly, no, let's get the padlock on this thing done. There you go. 
That's all done and dusted. I feel like maybe I should try the uh, car and see what happens here. I can't. That dude! Uh, how? How do you find any time? He's like right there every time. Dude, I'm gonna go for it. The car is right here. Come on! Come on, I don't know how fast he is. Come on, go, go, go. Wait, what? <laughs> They're both stalking me down right now. You must find the car, Brick! You must find the car! Oh, my goodness. How the freak did I get away with that? Can I, like, lock her out? Oh, no, I don't got time. The door is closed. She clearly closed it behind her. So, turning on the TV, is that a distraction for Muriel? Maybe it, like, brings her back down. Uh, let's not comment on that. Dude, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. Come on, let's search. I heard Muriel really close. No! Found nothing. Hold up. Am I... I I'm stuck. I'm, I'm literally stuck. <laughs> So we are back guys. I've got myself the slab and the padlock code. I need to find the car keys Then we can do that side of the mission. I'm struggling though. Mural is so aggro. I think she's uh, in the room with me. No, nope, apparently not I don't know where she's. I've been trying to get downstairs every time though. She kind of follows me I have to come back upstairs and hide here. Come on. You gotta give me some. Is she still downstairs? Oh. She's just like downstairs. She will not stop man. I got an idea. Okay, bring her upstairs. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna run up here. Then I hope, is it this room? So keep following me. Then we're gonna run around here. Then I'm gonna run straight back downstairs. This might work. Yes, it did work. So I know now to do that every time we encounter Muriel. Nice. This is like the last thing I can search in the house, I think. So this has to have the car keys. Yeah, man, turn them up. Ah, wait, what? There you go. All right, now I can start the car outside to ram the barn doors open. So that's our objective. Muriel is, I think, to our right. She's probably gonna be downstairs again, isn't she? Oh boy. Okay, so I need to, I think, go out the back doors there, and then that should lead us over to it. Okay, he's right. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I gotta think quick. Okay, let me, no, I can't go outside. I can hear his voice. Hey, man, let's go. I ain't waiting, so the car is here. Okay, I see him. I don't have any time, though. So I gotta put the brick somewhere. Come on, come on, there you go. Okay, this is good. You place the brick on the accelerator. Now, I've got the car keys, yes. Please say this is like a checkpoint or something. Okay, that goes into there. Now, I gotta move. The door, uh, the door's already open, my dude. Don't see me, don't see me. Okay, come on, yeah. All right, there's the shovel straight away. Oh, that's more of like a pitchfork. Wait, there's the shovel, okay, so I got the shovel. All I need, I think, is the uh, keys finally. Now I can dig up the key. I remember it being buried somewhere in the, the freaking cornfields. All right, well, that guy's got his back to me. So let me just run. Cornfields are over here. We can do this, man. We can definitely, definitely do this. I'm gonna go through the uh, further side away from as well. This should give us the best advantage. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We gotta like roam like this. Oh, if that dude comes in here, we are done. We're searching though, guys. We are searching. Look for any anomalies in the rows, okay? Looks like Muriel or Eustace planted these very neatly. So, Bruh. wait, from where? I don't, I don't know, guys. This isn't good. I don't. I, I don't even understand where from. You know, I might be running into him. I don't know. I got away from him. I saw where the key was. But I gotta make sure now that he can get away. I hope we can just about outrun him. I think that's it right there. That little glow. Uh, I haven't seen him exit the cornfield. Oh, so he did go in there. He's going away, man. This is our best opportunity. Okay, let's go. Oh, man, I think there's multiple spots to dig as well. <laughs> Come on! Can we get lucky, though, guys? First try. Come on. And, oh, god dang it. Come on, dig, 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 dig. We have, like, no time with this guy as well behind us. I think he's slightly faster than Muriel. He's like the uh, Wave 2 version. Come on, turn it up. There you go, we got the basement key, so we gotta pick it up. Okay, I got it, I got it. Now let's get the heck out of this cornfield, make a plan from there. And, oh, he sees me though. I'm actually nervous, guys, I'm being serious. So, let me back up. Oh, he's quick, he's real quick. I gotta run in a straight line as possible. Please, give me something right here. Come on. I think we're literally just good. Mural, if you're there, like, you gotta... Okay, she's not... Dude, I'm in. Oh, he's in the house! He's in the house! Hold up, go, go, go! Did I do it? Wow, that was so clutch. That was unreal. Now we're in the basement though. We got the shovel. This should hopefully be the end of the nightmare, you know? We return the slab to him and then we're good. So let's go ahead and dig this up. Come on, courage. Will we actually see him? So let's pick up the slab, now return it to him. And if this dude doesn't get off my back after this, I'm gonna freaking call the cops. Actually, he'll probably infect those, and I'd rather not have people with guns roaming around near me, you know? I can't exit through the barn doors. I thought I would've been able to, unless maybe we've got like a button we need to press. Got a toolbox, washing machine, hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave the same way we came in. Here we go, let's leave the basement. Muriel, don't be nearby. Oh, oh, we threw the slab out of the window to him. There's the slab. You better be grateful. We returned it as you wished. And off he goes, just like that. 
Simple as, and there you go, the end. Hey, so we managed to save the family, I guess, and uh, I bet Eustace has no idea and probably still does that. Well, there we go, guys. That was Courage's Curse. We managed to beat that one. That was such a fun little adventure based off of the episode. Now, I'm not saying you should, but an Ed Ed Neddy horror game, like, you know, that sounds nice off the tongue. That's all I'm saying. That was really nice to revisit, like, a childhood thing, though, and just see it in, like, a different envisioned way and being able to play an episode rather than just watching it unfold. If you guys haven't probably heard of Courage's Cowardly Dog or checked it out, literally search it up on YouTube, you'll find so many amazing episodes. It's just like childhood in a nutshell. Dave Microwaves games as well. You should also check out his other games. There is so many based on like popular childhood cartoons. It's uh, such a thrill for this developer to be bringing them back in like a nice mini arcade style. And everyone is just so much fun to play. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like crane? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.